When you open the application Mastercam, you will get this screen. Here are the menu bar and these are the toolbars. We have sidebars on both the sides and this is most recently used menu bar. Whenever you use any of the menu, that menu will be uh, seen here. This is the graphic window. This is the toolpath manager and this is the status bar. We got ribbon bar here and these are the menu bars. This is the selection bar. So first and foremost thing that you need to do is do opt either inch or metric based on your requirements. I will be dealing maximum with mm. So go to settings, go to configuration, in current choose metric and click this air, uh, tick and metric will be set and you can see that in this right bottom most portion metric will be visible that means you have set this application to metric mode so this is an example I will explain you the use of mouse control you just if you want to rotate this part on any axis you just click on the middle button and move your mouse if you want to zoom in and out just scroll the middle button and if you want to pan you press shift and hold the middle button and move the mouse and if you want to rotate dynamic at any uh, point on the screen press control and then hold the middle button and move the mouse and if you want to zoom particular area you just press F1 and draw the rectangle window and that particular area will be zoomed and you press F9 you can see this axis ac coordinate axis won't be getting displayed it's toggle between display and non display this will be very helpful to uh, just to verify whether you have created or moved a part at the middle of the with respective to the coordinate system and next we'll see different shortcut keys I have given a huge uh, number of shortcut keys but I'll be explaining you most widely used shortcut keys here we have few surface geometry and solid if you want to keep uh, something on the screen and you want to hide rest of it you just click alt and press E and select the part that you want to keep on the screen and rest will be hidden and next is alt H that will take you to mastercam help then we have alt z it goes to the level manager and you can create any levels or delete then we have whenever we uh, when you press f3 the screen get refreshed and when you press f4 you can and then select any any part particle it will go to analyze window so you press F4 and select this surface it will go to analysis of uh, 
analysis property of the surface and when you click alt c it will go to a folder where the all the application sub application is saved you can run any of the application which you require then you can see alt s for toggle between shade and when you press alt f1 the whatever is on the screen will be fit to the screen and you press alt f1 and let's see what is there on the status bar when you click here you can toggle between 2d and 3d plane and when you click on this you can see the different principal views the same with world coordinate system and the plane and here this is the z level now when z is 0 you'll be able to work on the z0 plane and when you enter any values such as minus 5 or something all that will be drawn will be on minus z5 and we have all these color settings that we can attribute to the, the geometry or surface or solids and we have levels here and we have attributes like line style, point style, level and everything and if you want to change the color of this particular solid you select any of the color then right click select the geometry or anything and that will be turned to the color that you have set and you select this line you set the line style to any of it and then right click select the entity plus uh, press enter and you apply it and you can see that the attribute of that line is changed thank you